actually not sure. One, I think it's desire. Eh, I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> yeah, because all the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to look dumb. <laughs> we streamed all of that. Oh, we Bye, did? everybody. Welcome <laughs> to the first verse. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, beautiful singing from James. Uh, we are joined today by Thomas, Chelsea, Ben, James, and Alexis. And no, is she okay. here? <laughs> and that's okay. it. She's off to the side. All right. Uh, so uh, sorry we had to do reverse reverse a day late, but uh, Ben was out yesterday, and I figured you guys all wanted to ask him about 1.1 and why it's not here. So no. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Happy. People are already complaining that we're too quiet. No. We haven't even said anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Star Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. And maybe because, maybe because of this. Welcome to Star <laughs> Citizen. <laughs> All right, so do you want to talk about 1.1? Well, one, uh, yes, 1.1 is... Well, you guys know the uh, drill at this point. They are trying to get a viable build. Um, we got one we're looking at right now. I think they're going to have a meeting around 11 to discuss uh, what issues it has, whether or not we can launch. Um, I've heard there are, there are a couple blockers, uh, but we'll know a little bit more later today. Um, if it doesn't make it today, we'll try again tomorrow. Ben, you needed. I needed? For, for that exact meeting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> They're going to have to go talk about 1.1. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, God. Well, without Ben, we're screwed. <laughs> well. All right, any non-Star Citizen questions? All right, Favorite Backstreet Boy. Backstreet Boy. I don't know, man. You can't choose one. The microphone should be better now. Uh, so let us know if it's, if it's better. Hopefully. Um, is, why is Ben drunk at 10 a.m.? Ben's all over you. Because he's smart? Yeah. yeah. You work here and be Ben. <laughs> so as you guys can see, the patch is, is down to the wire right now. So they're going to a meeting right now, which I assume will dictate the whether or not it comes out what's today. The, what's that? What? What, what, is the, what is the flair for this month? Uh, the flair for this month is a <laughs> patron of the arts. Get that mic out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a patron of the arts uh, thank you plaque. It's kind of an in fiction slash out of fiction thank you for being a subscriber it comes from the imperial art council that's it's right pretty important yeah mm -hmm. like it's it's kind of a big deal <laughs> so that will be attributed to counts later sometime today yeah hopefully soon soon wow. talk to turbulent <laughs> he's my, he's my hat. Oh. thank you this hat Sorry, this, this hat is yeah. awesome my hat's better uh the flag she just said the flare will hopefully go out soonish it should go out at some point in the next few hours yeah we'll um We'll yell at Turbulent. Vanguard update. Vanguard's looking cool, and you should see more about it next week. Oh, Alexis is not on the camera. I'm, like, partially on. Yeah, That's because there's a microphone yeah. in my face. Yeah. 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 As it. That's... Is there. I don't you know. i got to wait 30 seconds to find out. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is the alleged Pokemon hat. Any news on the three-year sub rewards? Uh, those will be coming soon. Probably within the next few weeks, we'll announce all of those. That was sweet. I'm glad that happened. <laughs> How's everyone in the office doing today? Doing good. I'm Friday. I'm, 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 what did you say? Friday. Is that Friday. a 311 song? No, it's a. Is it? Song. No, it's not oh, a 311 no, song. No, I'm just kidding. I thought he said fried egg. egg I'm in love. And I was like, hell yeah, I love fried eggs. You would see that Robert Smith describes. No. He goes through every I day would of say the Saturday. week. No, no, no. Saturday away. Sunday always comes too late, but Friday never hesitates. I'm telling you, he breaks down every day of the week and determines that Friday is is the day. That All whole right. lyric. Yeah. All right. Cool. This this is great over here. <laughs> Especially since James doesn't understand the reference. So I we're don't. talking about something CIG related. Uh, would we like to talk about what's happening next Thursday? Happening next Thursday. Uh, we're on the verse. Yeah, what is happening next week? New episode. Yeah. <laughs> reverse the verse. And a uh, competition that's happening on the community side. Yeah, I'm going to miss that. You're going to miss the macaroni and cheese off. Uh, yeah. It's the like, what? I know. And it, it took me a while. I thought we were actually talking about something Star Citizen. I, know, I thought so too. And then you brought up the macaroni and cheese off. So if, if, since we brought it up, I'll explain what it is and then we can move on to something they're more interested in. Everybody here in the community team is making their best macaroni and cheese 
inspired dish we, and having a bringing it in. We will all eat them and decide who's is the best. I think they'll all be great though. I think so. I'm pretty excited. I think yeah, you know I've, you can't lose. I've well, this. well, it's just someone brought up a good point where <laughs> about the banner thief. If you took our banner, please give it back. Oh yeah. No questions asked. Just please give it back. Yeah. yeah exactly. Those banners are are a little expensive, and we're a crowdfunded company. If the banner thief happens to be at South by Southwest, just, just drop, drop it off. Yeah, drop quiet, it off. quietly drop it off. Yeah. Not something we're just, gonna throw away. Yeah. <laughs> just say you found it somewhere, and hey, there you go. Be like, hey, the guy who stole the banner just dropped this off, and I wanted to make sure you got it before somebody else stole it. Just Boom. Just send it into the office. Yeah. No return address. Be anonymous. Yeah. Well. Is there like a massive delay? Yes. 30 yeah. Seconds. Thirty seconds. Thirty second delay. Uh, do right. we have a picture of the banner? Uh, there you are. Then we can find it. <laughs> had a Star Citizen logo on it. Yeah. It had a, star, it had a <laughs> sick Star Citizen logo on it. Gosh, my hair it looks like I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> Hennessy, are you going to South by Southwest to videotape yeah. stuff? Yes. I am going South by Southwest. I'm flying out tomorrow. I'll be there Sunday for the party and for the film presentation, which we will post online next week. Right, James? We will. And tonight, or in just a few hours, six hours, uh, we are going to be streaming Chris's presentation uh, for 30 hour time. made it worse. And that will be on the Star <laughs> Citizen uh, Twitch. <laughs> so. Losing it in the yeah. background here. Status of visiting each other's hangars will be talked about more during when the social module is officially a thing. This Twitch thing's like Snapchat, though. Like, you don't see anybody's bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Sandy, any Star Citizen HOTAS updates? Yeah. Steven, any Star Citizen HOTAS update? Don't answer that question out loud. <laughs> <laughs> not saying anything. Come on, Toast. And now everyone knows you're the holdup. Oh. <laughs> Send all complaints to Toast. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> toast at SclotImperiumGames.com. Will CIG add mature and tasteful romance to Star Citizen? <laughs> uh, yes. Well, I don't know about tasteful. Yeah. Uh, um, Fifty Shades of Fortune. I mean, I think I, I don't think in the way that like Mass Effect does it. Yeah. Like, where there's like a set like path to romancing someone. You create your own romance. Your own romance. You create your own romance. <laughs> Hell yeah, new tagline. Is that our tagline? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, when will tickets for UK Citizen Con be on sale? After South by Southwest. So soon. Uh-huh. That's going to be fun. There's a Concord in the venue. Oh, snap. What? I said, oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are any word, and we have female character models. Uh, yes, that's coming. Like a lot of character models are being designed now. Specifically, it's become more of a like point to focus on because of FPS and social modules. So that stuff's coming. Uh, is the all ship access week starting today? Should be. Yes. Another turbulent thing. <laughs> well, we'll talk to him. <laughs> How's the team feeling about this weekend? Well, Sandy will be in South by. On Sunday. You excited? Flights on Sunday. Am I excited? Yeah, I think so. Wait, so you fly in Sunday, go to the party, and fly back Sunday? I, no, I fly back Monday. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, Is anybody going to South by Southwest in, in chat? Hmm? No. Well, we'll know in 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, we'll know in 30 <laughs> seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sandy, is there any planned event in the Berlin area? Uh, I found it. Oh, sorry. Like I was confused by the sisters over there. <laughs> <laughs> I found I found a um, really cool venue in Berlin. It's just when would we have that event? Because we do Gamescom, and so yeah, it's like two events in Germany. I'm sure the Germans wouldn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, can Tatsuteku models of concept ships get out of the pledge store like the other si sub exclusive ones are? Oh, they're saying, can we put the uh, ship models in the pledge store? Um, that come with the uh, concept yeah. ships? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if yeah, that's a plan or not. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that's a plan of correct currently. William's hat's better than James' That's yeah, completely you, inaccurate. That, point, yes. that is completely that's inaccurate. Fact. That's fact. He went and bought his after a fan was nice enough to send one in for me. Actually, I already had one. 
You can lie if you want. Very much. <laughs> There's somebody who says yours looks better than Will's. Yeah, yours is, like yours, is like, the difference. yours is like a knockoff, dude. Mine's legit. Actually, mine, Ash wore this hat. Mine had a tag that had Pikachu on it, so I'm going to go with mine's real and yours isn't. Was it like... Hey, did we ask about snapbacks or Velcro, by the way? No, we did not. Uh, what? Can you guys give us your preference for hats? Do you prefer a plastic snapback on a hat or Velcro in the back? So far, it sounds like we're leaning toward the snapback. That yeah. seems to be yeah. the general... I mean, that's pretty much the... the yeah, Velcro's thing. weird. Oh, I like Velcro. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is there going to be a year two jump uh, point hardcover? Snapbacks are like this. Uh, We're looking into it. We're looking into it. We're looking into it. Oh, dang. Wait, whoa, whoa more Velcro. people want Velcro. See? So I guess we'll go Velcro. Oh, jeez. Absolutely. Really? Not wow. Velcro, Velcro. No, no. Velcro or Lodge. I just see a lot Snap, of people Snap, saying Velcro, a lot Snap, of Velcro. No, I have seen like FlexFit. FlexFit's yeah. the best. Flex FlexFit is not an option. <laughs> Damn it. FlexFit. Like this. Like it's this. when it has the stretchy band instead of... You're right. FlexFit would I'm be up. I'm seeing a lot of snaps now. No, I'm off, seeing. I'm still off, seeing off, a lot of Velcro. I think it's the same people who first said Velcro. <laughs> yeah, right all these people snap, want Velcro. Velcro. Yeah, you're starting a hat war. Yeah, we don't want to start a hat a war. Lot of people chiming in. I didn't realize there'd be so many opinions. <laughs> there's a lot of. There's a lot of don't, don't we have the the UK venue up on the website already? Uh, the venue, yes. The times and date, no. Oh, date. The date. Yeah, well, a date's, date. yeah, well, a date's normal. Well, the time. Citizen con. And the ticket should be up after South by. People are still going crazy with these hats. Hat wars. Hat war. Well, well we have to ask on a uh, chin strap. We have, to, <laughs> we have to ask on the, on the subscriber forum. Yeah, so. we'll do a poll on the forum. Someone, someone says they prefer a fedora. <laughs> Star Citizen Victoria. Where, where is that Star Citizen? It's here. Yeah, so yeah. we're on the desk. Oh, well, this one's Velcro. Yeah. But I don't know. Sandy's showing you hats. See? But I think it's kind of... You like it. I like the... I prefer the Velcro, but, you know. I don't know how hey, I whatever. About that. I feel Velcro yeah. wears down over time, though. It, 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 well, I would say I see the same thing with snapbacks. Like, they eventually, like, sometimes the plastic breaks. You know what I mean? It's true. I've seen it go both ways. Right, it's I've seen it go both <laughs> ways. Yeah, I guess you know. Gosh. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know. Uh, Someone's asked about a soft cover year or two book. I think we're looking at both. We're, we're looking, looking at, at both, both options, options currently. Mm -hmm. We but have no what? official announcement for, for a jump point. For, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been looking into it. <clears throat> we haven't done a poll, though, have we? Um, I mean, we're still, we just talked to Turbulent about uh, setting up, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's the hold up. Yeah. Turbulent's awesome, you guys. Like, I know we're <laughs> giving them a hard time. Oh, yeah, recently. yeah, yeah, no, they just, yeah. they, there's a lot of, you know. They get a lot of stuff. You gotta wait in line. Right, I'm gonna go do some work next door. Cool. Oh, uh, okay, so. Star Citizen there was yeah, I know Sandy is left-handed, so I need to ask, will the hotel be ambidextrous? That I don't know. I really want this hotel still finished so we can tell everybody what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's about any additional ship sales with the free flight week? No, we have no current ship sales planned for this week. End. This week? Yeah. End? No. Yeah. Next week we have a cool one. The next week we hope we have a cool one. Yeah, we're close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Toronto conventions. We're going to Montreal, aren't we? Or Vancouver. We should. No, we're going to Montreal. <laughs> Canada's awesome. We're going to Montreal in July to have a really fun party. Cool. Not many people, though. About 50 to 100 people. So. Will NPC dialogue be more PC, I think he means politically correct, or will swearing and more adult nature dialogue be allowed? It's an interesting Nobody question. Nobody fucking swears here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Colorful metaphor. What's that? It's the swear mouthwash? Jar. It's a swear you jar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That'd be some weird mouthwash. The Jean Scout Flare. Yeah. Alexis, where's the Jean Flout Scout Flare? Is that that? Say that. Where's that? Where's that? <laughs> that thing I said. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Can we ask Chris about a Central Park area to Terra Prime? 
Uh, I haven't seen the design of Terra Prime, so there, there's going to be some hub area. I don't know if it'll be a Central Park. Good place to take a I date. I feel like there was a question about that in town for the chairman. What is going to be showcased at South by? The social module? Yes. 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 I think they're right on target, so we're in good shape there. Yeah, that 100 gigabyte quote, did you see how many articles we got on there? Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I also think that's a little out of context, but we can talk about that at a different time. <laughs> we can talk to Jeremy Masker again. Mm -hmm. What are we doing for Comic Con? I don't know if we're doing anything for Comic Con. Please, nothing. I don't ever want to go to Comic Con again. <laughs> James does not like Comic Con, but wants to go to South by Southwest so you badly. You don't like Comic Con, but you like South by Southwest. That's, I grew what, up, that's what I'm saying. I grew up, yeah, I grew up in San Diego. Uh, well, you know what? If you grew up in Austin, you'd be saying San Diego. I am exactly. I imagine so. Once you live through one South by Southwest, you don't ever want to live through it again. Comic Con is not bad. It's just like you can't do anything that weekend. Yeah, it's insane. That's but, exactly how South by Southwest is. But the good thing about Comic Con is if you go out to the bars that like that weekend, it's just like a bunch of people that bar people, Ooh, but then also here. people in cosplay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it'll be like you know a douchebag wearing his like, Armani <laughs> cologne or whatever, uh -huh. and then just like Batman walking next to him. That because I brought a banana tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was William's banana. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred years. One hundred is going to have to sleep in his car to report on South by Southwest for INN. Did you guys let him sleep in the conference room? Oh, I don't. Oh, so Ben was Ben was helping him try to try to find yeah a place. I don't. I mean, I mean, I want to sleep on my couch, but I'm in I'm in Santa Monica. <laughs> I mean, that's not really helping if he wants to go to South by. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. <laughs> non sequiturs. Colorado. What, are, what are you doing in Colorado? Oh, working at Ilphonic for the next month. Yeah. When do you yeah. leave? Tell me about your okay. sweet pad. Oh, so this is the last time I'll see you for a month then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's been talking about that all day. <laughs> yeah, last I'm last time. Four, <laughs> I, uh, is this the last time she's going to be on a. Uh, reverse, uh, reverse? RTV yeah. Unless Ben, unless we do one yeah, from Colorado. We, do, yeah. we, could, we might be able to do, oh, we probably will do one. Yeah, we'll do one in Colorado. We'll do one in Colorado. That would be fun. Sweet. Oh, and then um, be Ben, be Sandy, and I are first. thinking about, or trying to go to Colorado to film stuff for ATV. We are. Ben, yes. It's Ben and Hennessy. It's like, but what's <laughs> really bad? It's like, <laughs> yes, I still have the pirate hat. Over there somewhere. Most of the ones, don't we? Do we have yeah. Enough, don't we have enough pirate hats to make a I, whole fleet of pirates? That was one of the. I think within my first two months, I went out to buy pirate it's only 10, hats for everybody. It's all right. We got this. <laughs> I'm like Ben, almost here. We've got 42 minutes left to this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans for a Mars landing zone in the PU? Um, I don't know. I think I don't. I, I don't know why, but I want to say I've heard that talked about with Haddock and Will William Weisbaum. But I can't tell you for certain. There's not three wills. Like, was a new will? There's one true will. It's Will Weisbaum. Right. Excuse me? Chelsea and Travis, safe trip and enjoy Colorado. Thanks. I think that Will Weisbaum is actually William. Yes. I always call him William, so that's how I differentiate. We do, we do have an argument going back and forth, though. Every time we see each other, we say, hello, Will. Hello. When can we apply ship skins to other ships besides the Aurora? That functionality is coming. The uh, Aurora skins were the first part of that. Thank God we're the first part of that. But that will expand as we go forward. Thank God Ben's back. Asking you shall receive. Ben! <laughs> ben, how'd how the meeting go? Ah. There's a meeting. Uh, Travis is going to come in and talk to us in just a moment. Uh, but this is probably the fastest you're ever going to get news directly from <laughs> one of our go no go <laughs> meetings. Uh, there's good news, there's bad news. Um, the bad news is that it is a no go today. Uh, not going to have 1.1 out uh, until next week on the main server. We are going to promote a, uh, a PTU build hopefully today. Ideally, it's about barring Act of God today. Yeah which is going to let you guys uh, try out some of the stuff we fixed and added in the last week, including uh, seeing the Retaliator in the hangar uh, in the PTU. So we'll have uh, an update about that a little bit later today. Uh, it looks like the big blockers right now are we're having issues with the uh, multiplayer free flight, which is one of those things where, hey, this should just work, and it doesn't. <laughs> so uh, that's always fun. And the other is uh, the new landing stuff, which is very, very complicated. Uh, we've been having... Uh, 
I think there's a bug right now where ships don't really land or take off. They just kind of <laughs> vibrate, which I haven't seen in like 18 months. So good thing we found that one again. Mm. Uh, but uh, something to play with today. Uh, Chris is going to have a letter out a little bit later today with some specifics and some of the South by South stuff. Um, on Sunday, you'll see some of the video we are doing for the presentation. And uh, then next week, we'll have the uh, formal 1.1 build. I go back to the yeah, okay. Woo! Sweet. So, <laughs> there you go. Some good, some bad. Hot off the presses. Hmm? Who has the most money in the swear jar? Can you scroll up? I think technically they responded Tom, to me. Because he donated money. Okay. So... The oh, that was why I thought it was James. I thought it was just James. James was asking for a handout, but I yeah. think that's what I said. Technically, I think they do. Right. Whatever. I have money now. I don't care. And then he spent it giving you money for pizza. Taco so, Bell. Or Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. So you paid yourself with, yeah. with James. And then I put it back in there, though, and then he what happened to it then? He disappeared at that point. Ben, <laughs> <laughs> what about the uh, hard part design post? Ah, I actually just I also <laughs> spoke to Chris about this. He, uh, he said he knows people are waiting for that. We're going to go ahead and put that out today, even though uh, the build that enables it is not ready yet. So we will have that later today. Cool. Uh, uh, is Fly Free Week active? I don't think it's yet. active yet. No. But Fly, Fly Free Flight is still on for today. Yes. Yes, that, that is still on. Um, unfortunately, it won't include the Gladius, which we'd hope to, because 1.1. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we will have a Gladius-specific week uh, very soon. So. We, uh, do, do not buy Gladius just to try it out. We, uh, we will let you try it uh, as soon as we can. Sick. So, who... What? Who what? <laughs> who are, who are, where? Okay, Ben's back, so everyone can yeah, ask questions. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> and who's oh, Travis? Travis. Oh, Travis. Thank you for your help, Ben. Sure thing. Like this. Travis, tell them stuff. Yeah. About how you just saved a ton of money by switching your car insurance mm -hmm. to Geico. I actually recently got a thing saying that I needed to get my renter's insurance, and I was considering Geico. I got that same thing. We do well, that too. Yeah. I got thing saying I hadn't paid my rent insurance <laughs> oh, no, that I needed to yeah. by uh, today. So. I got a thing saying I hadn't paid my gas bill in like three months, <laughs> <laughs> which equates to I've never paid my gas bill. <laughs> it's like three dollars. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's like all the dudes. Well, Chelsea and I, we ran the fireplace and the heater for a long time, like way too long, and we had paid like two hundred dollars for the first six months. <laughs> then it was one hundred and forty-seven for one month. So <laughs> for your gas bill, or yeah. Your I thought yeah. gas was like 10 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, unless you leave everything on. Yeah. Interesting. Lesson learned. Yeah. Needless to say, the fireplace has not graced our living room in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Life lessons. Yeah. Well, that's a good point. Will Free Fly Week be valid on the PTU servers? That is a good question. Yeah. I don't know the answer. That probably requires some sort of turbulent magic. Uh, we'll find out for you, though. Yeah. I would say a strong maybe. <laughs> strong, I'll think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. No, what? No one really knows how free fly weekend works. <laughs> yeah. We tell everyone do stuff with badges, and then and everyone gets works. ships. Yeah. Yeah. Any updates on the FPS module release date? Uh, well, we can't give you a release date. Um, Chris is doing a letter later today that's going to have a little bit more of our thinking behind that, uh, but no date. Uh, so you hear hear more soon. But I think that's Long short story is they're gonna do some polish, right? Mm -hmm. We're good. I got my chamois. <laughs> In fact, uh, you're headed out to Denver, right? Mm -hmm. On Sunday for one month. Is that fun? What? Is that gonna be fun? Yes. Sick. Lot. It's gonna be great to just sit with them and focus. What's the status on the new HUD design? What is the new HUD design that people are speaking about? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> we have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there will be an ESP toggle. That's a thing. Working on it. Yeah, they uh, caught that in uh, Bug Smashers. There's on Mark's screen, there's the ESP. Uh, yeah. Well, we have the option to disable ship VO so we can use our own voice attack. No. No. But also, I don't think that the ship's voiceover impacts your... Oh, I see, because it doubles up with voice mm -hmm. attack. Okay, fair enough. But no. 
Well, we have permanent access to friends hangers if they allow it once that is live. Uh, only when they're online right now. Oh, okay. Interesting. But in the future. In the future. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I, so I thought, okay, apparently for the MVP, uh, Hydro Big Bang was apparently the one who got the glaive first, so uh, yeah, I mean, MVP to him too. <laughs> You done goofed. <laughs> well, you forget the, about Hydro Big Bang? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the thing is that I checked the YouTube video, and the YouTube video was hosted by... So, like, there were three people involved in all of this, but Hydro Big Bang was never mentioned in any of it. So, I apologize, Hydro. <laughs> well. Yeah. Or, <laughs> formal apology to Hydro Big Bang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can have Will's hat. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to get angry with somebody, get angry at the guy who hosted your video and didn't mention you. Every time Will does an MVP, we get, like, five people writing in to say I think it's, it's a testament to the quality of the rest of the show. Yeah. <laughs> the now MVP, which is, like, the workhorse segment that has always been the same. It's now the most complaints. Is CIG planning on the sports the HTC Vive? It's, uh, it's like, Steam's VR helmet thing. Yeah, the or Valve's the, Valve, the thing. Valve Killis Rift. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nailed it. It was nice at all. It was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. Well, we were throwing you a bone. It was man. lower I mean, quality than yeah. you're usually putting out. It's, it's, it's far above my part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called Travis out of the <laughs> for planning a pun. It's a pipeline, not an archipelago. And Ben's like, how long have you been sitting on that one? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when do we have an ETA on the Avenger variant reveal? No. Nope. No. Negative. Hard no. Hard no. No. Are we ever going to get uh, servers in the UK? Apparently someone really wants to know this. Uh, what's well, Google Cloud servers, right? So they, mm-hmm. they should be some in the UK. <laughs> yeah, this Europe. I thought you were just saying words. Google Cloud servers. That no. is how <laughs> IT works today. You, you say words like that and then it happens. Oh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, right now we so we're using the Google Compute servers for our game servers, and uh, there are some technical backend things to be worked out with the uh, universe clusters. So basically, you have to have multiple universe clusters deployed to multiple locations, and then they all need to have a master that oversees the whole bit. And the matchmaking system needs to be made aware of all the different server clusters that are available. Um, so there's a fair amount of work that <laughs> goes in. That's not maybe very sexy, but goes in behind the scenes to make that happen. And that is in progress. When will we see more docking slash boarding mechanics? Uh, with uh, AC 2.0, where she'll have let you actually get up and walk around in your ship. Yeah. Sick. Are you um, actually saying sick, or are you just saying yeah. that at regular intervals? <laughs> I'm saying at regular I'm intervals. I'm trying to yeah. time it correctly with when I think you're going to respond. Ah, uh, okay. Like, when you stop talking, I'm like, oh, that's my, my cue to say sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see re-releases of old merchandise. Uh, possibly. Mouse pads. Usually, we we yeah. always restock those. Uh, what do you what what specific old merchandise would you like? The person who asked the question. The Star Citizen shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If there's a particular piece of merchandise you'd like, or one you'd like us to bring back, start a thread in the forums. Uh, make yourself known, and we will uh, we will tell the people that matter. Yeah. What about new maps for AC? In the works. Yeah, I think I saw a thread today that was like new new maps for AC. So are, there's... are any of them like uh, in planet bound or you know inside a? They're all going to be maze based, so you have to fly through. Uh, yeah. We were using old Wolf 3D levels. And, uh... yeah, Chris saw the movie Maze Runner and he was just <laughs> blown away, and so we've decided that all future levels will be. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but that is how it works. <laughs> um, but no, actually, I mean, in serious. Yes, it will be. There'll be space-based stuff. Uh, it'll be an opportunity with uh, the 64-bit conversion to do some larger maps, and hopefully, the goal is to get larger maps with some interesting uh, space obstacles. So things like nebulae, asteroids of varying sizes, and start experimenting with some of the things you'll encounter in the PU. Do we Sick. have a? Oh damn! It. <laughs> damn it! Sick burn. Do we have a time frame for adding new adding ship skins to additional ships? 
Yeah, that's actually something with the advent or the implementation, I should say, of the new damage system on the Gladius, which still has some issues, like when it was hit by a missile and the entire outside of the skin peeled back. Um, once all those are resolved, we are going to be starting to convert all of the old chips to the new method, which includes the paints as well. Sick. In the new PT <laughs> in the PTU build, will the new mount system be in place? Uh... Yes, I believe so. Was it in the last PTU also? The, uh, the new sizing? I don't know if it was in the last one, but it would be in this one. Oh, okay. Because we had the broken one last Friday that some people got and other people didn't. I yeah, might have been and I'm there. not sure which one yeah. it was, yeah. Wayne, we should, should, we do, should we do the, the, the ship updates now? Just get them out of the way? How's the Starfare, Ben? Oh, Travis is here. He How's the Starfare, Travis? <laughs> Starfare is sick. <laughs> <laughs> How's the Jean Scout? Uh, Xion Scout is, uh, so we Jean. recently, no, it's, it's Xion, like <laughs> she's on, um, it's Chinese, anyway, uh, Xion Scout, we recently started the modeling process, and there was a request from Foundry 42 to prioritize a different ship above that, so we've been, uh, actually took, taken the person off of the Xion Scout and moved them over to the Herald. Garbage. You just created a very angry yeah. yeah. Say, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. Stop. How dare yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> You can see James' face just... Uh, I was like, what the hell? Please, the please don't submit angry chickens. <laughs> <laughs> How's the Merchantman? Uh, Vanu Merchantman is getting the interior concepts uh, finalized. Sick. How's the uh, Bulldog? Uh, Bulldog's making good progress. I call it the Bullguard. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The, I like that. That's a, a, that's a good... Yeah, I, like dog, that. I like that one, too. Yeah. Um, but yes, that is uh, going to be premiering on a website of ours... Nope. You nope. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't, say it. <laughs> Don't say when. Uh, soon. TM. Soon. Yeah. Uh, I might have. I might have screwed that up then. What did you say? Nothing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> There's no record of it. Because it just changed at the meeting we had, so you don't even know. Nope. No. <laughs> so. well, this is before that meeting took place. Bullguard. Vandal. When will the Vandal scythe be hanging ready? That's a great question. Uh, the answer is soon. Uh, sooner than you might think. And, and not as soon as you'd hope. But we have a, we have a, a, a cool concept and uh, animation set for the conversion to being human sized and uh, human accessible. So I'm excited about that. Have we missed, we got, we got all the ships we always get asked, right? Did we miss any? Merchant? Uh, so we actually just asked about the Merlin. Merlin? Ah, P50C Merlin. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, so that one's actually making really good progress. It's getting remodeled as part of the constellation remodel, mm -hmm. and we actually have a presentation later today internally, not for everybody else. Uh, on sorry, <laughs> for the rework that's happened and the progress that's been made, but it's uh, it's coming along quite nicely. It's due to wrap up pretty soon. Uh, for those of you just joining us, 1.1 will not go live tonight, today, but there'll be a PTU build that will. There's still some hangups, uh, some blockers in there. So while we don't want to push that to live servers, you can download the PTU build later today. Hopefully. I keep on hearing uh, people ask about the Crucible. I think that's the next big one that people are going to start asking about. Yeah, the Crucible is going to be concepted by George Hole, the same guy that did the Orion and the Reclaimer, because we really like his, uh, his industrial ship look. He's really got a good knack for that and gets on what Chris wants. So he's actually out in London, I believe, this week. But when he returns, he'll be kicking off on that. He was the best part of uh, Jupiter Ascending, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? I love dogs. Elephant, elephant Man. Dogs. Elephant Man was the best. Oh, Come elephant on. Man. Elephant, elephant Man was yeah. the best. Maybe that was a George Hall elephant. Yeah. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> it's 15 maybe, minutes left in this maybe movie. Maybe we should have a race of elephant people in our game. We should. Maybe that's what the Kirthak will be. <laughs> yes. I think we just made the Kirthak. I think it's canon now. Any progress, on, any progress on any of the Wave 3 ships? I think that's what we were just talking about. Right? Yep. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, okay. What about the whole, no. What about the whole series? How they, how they looking? Hullapalooza is upcoming. Uh, they God. are in progress. They're nearly, <sighs> nearly complete with the whole C. And then from that, we'll be extrapolating that to the other whole Z. Is that a lot of guys say holes? Yeah, I think so. Holes. Oh, that's a good question. Will Wreck be in the in the PTU build? Nope. No. No, Wreck doesn't work on the PTU because of magic. But <laughs> yes, because of magic. The card game. 
But all the gunk that makes Rick work will be in that build. It just won't wreck it up until next week. Hullapalooza. Love it. Mage Runner 2 Elephant <laughs> That is... <laughs> Why, that's a, actually really, I'm, I'm upset about this too. Why isn't George Hull working on the whole series? Uh, you know. Because <laughs> life, does, life doesn't always work out the way it's know, supposed actually, to. So seriously, when I made the schedule, I originally penciled it in for the whole series because it seemed really cute. Um, and then later we changed it just because I wanted him on the more industrial stuff. And Jim Martin uh, has done a lot of the previous MISC shifts, so it made sense for him to work on that. I just think it's a missed opportunity. Yeah, I think you're probably right. <laughs> Any updates on a new Corvette? No. No. Uh, the Idris is huge, though. How big is yeah. it? It's it's getting getting bigger. James. It just keeps yeah, it keeps getting bigger. <laughs> how big is it? By the time Squadron 42 comes out, it will eclipse the entire universe, and the entire game will <laughs> be set on a deck of an Idris. Yeah, exactly. With, with yeah. The, the actual universe inside that yeah. on the hangar bay. Um, yeah, currently the Idris can fit the Bengal in its landing bay. <laughs> Concern! <laughs> <laughs> Any updates in the Cutlass? When will the variants be flyable? No. No. Well, wait. Um, Any updates in the Cutlass? Uh, no. I, 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 was, I was very comfortable with your answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it was strong. Uh, Any update on the new CCU system? No. Uh, <laughs> no. That, that's a turbulent task. They, uh... Have a lot of other things to do first. Will we see a Firefly class ship? How big was the Firefly in meters? Like, do you know? About the size of a Starfire, you say? They're pretty close. Damn, Toast is on. Toast, Toast, say, Toast knows what time it is. <laughs> Toast has wondered this for, for years. Uh, so been waiting I guess for that moment. That's actually Toast's the... question. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there. <laughs> now, with, with all the features of the Firefly, probably I would say there's nothing currently in production that fits the bill exactly at that size. Sweet. Sick. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> any, you one job, that. Any, <laughs> any update on Melting Voyager Direct items? Uh, no. <laughs> Negative. Any information on the Retaliator variants? No. There will be some. There will be some. But... Is Zane getting any more help, or is he still crazy? I don't, I don't know if help... For Zane would make him less crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would make him crazier because he, yeah. he would have like some. He'd be battling some himself. Zane yeah. Who, yeah, that's yeah. true, and he would feel like he needs to. He yeah. needs to do both people's thing. Yeah. That was so. Last week I was here till one trying to get assets for the uh, presentation, and like it's just Zane and I. And it's like one a.m. I'm like, all right, Zane, I'm out of here. And he's like, okay, do you have a key? Because I'm gonna be here for another three hours. I was like, all right. He's good on his estimates though. Yeah, I was like, here's the key. See you later. It's one in the morning. I'm going home. Sick. <laughs> uh, we the question of whether or not the free fly will be sent to PU, we don't know the answer to right now, because we don't know if we can get it to work correctly. But if you work for our web team and you know the answer <laughs> to that question, yeah. Yeah. tell us. <laughs> if you're French Canadian. <laughs> Any news on a type of referral system? And I mean, things they mean friend referral system. Yes, we are working on a referral system. Um, that is another one that's been slowed down by other uh, turbulent needs, or our needs for turbulent. But uh, we have a system prototyped out uh, coming. Right, there was a question that scrolled by that I really liked, which was, uh, any updates on the Carrick and will it actually fit that's in the jump points in order to map them? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that'd be kind of lame if you had an explorer ship <laughs> that, that like, fails at exploring the thing it was designed for. So no. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> nope. You just you buy you buy a car just a floating brick in space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're only made in one system. Yeah. Hi, Alexis. Hi. <laughs> Any the FPS module are the dragging and revive teammate mechanics going to be in one point one point one? The dragging will be there and medical kits will be there. Sick. How excited are you for the FPS module? I'm jumping for joy. That didn't seem very convincing. Yeah, okay. No, actually, I am. Uh, so, me personally, I'm, I'm hugely a uh, competitive multiplayer guy, and I absolutely love first person shooters. Um, that's kind of how I started, and everything I play, I still play them all the time. So, that's yeah. Probably my favorite genre. I am really looking that forward to that. Most. 
Because I'm really bad at Arena Commander, but I bet you I can get pretty good at it. Wait, did we announce the name, right? Yeah, exactly. I think that's yeah, but that's the name, yes. I think that's the like, FPS, I can be good at Star Citizen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Someone already asked, but how does the 1.1 delay affect the FPS uh, like module in uh, general? None. They're in separate streams. Sweet. Any news in the scout ship for the Carrick? Scout ship for the Carrick. Ah, no. Um, so basically, I mean, the, the smaller one-man or two-man things that will come with the larger ships will probably do in tandem with the building of the larger ships. So... As we have not begun the modeling process for that ship yet, we have not begun the modeling process for its uh, runabout. Can we talk about what modes will be available upon FPS release? Yeah. Um, Would you like to? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, so one of them on Gold Horizon is going to be 8v8, and it's basically your Counter-Strike game mode where oh, you know, sick. two teams, two spawns, you kill them, they're dead to the next round. Uh, best of a number of rounds. Did you plant a bomb? I do not play at the ball. No. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe in V2. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, that, we'll that, that's all V2 is. Yeah, we'll just add the ball for Counter-Strike. <laughs> yeah. um, and then in uh, the Battle Arena, or actually it's called the Astro Arena now, um, it will be very much an Ender's Game type match. We're going to add some more... Uh, I think you mean legally distinct from Ender's Game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. Nothing to do with Ender's Game. <laughs> It'll be like an Ender's Playtime type thing. Um, <laughs> No, but the idea there is we're going to add, so what we showed at, at PAX East was the basic concept of shooting each other with these uh, laser pistols using grapple, push-pull mechanics, uh, zero-G. What, what we showed then was 4v4, and uh, we'll premiere it with uh, 16 versus 16, so you have 32 players in a match. And it'll be much more like a sport within our universe, so there was going to be some goal-based uh, some goal-based objectives that we're actually working out the design on right now, how exactly we want them to work and balancing it out, but I expect it to be a lot of fun. That was a question I just saw, kind of harkens back to something earlier. Do we know, do we have an idea of what the PEGI will be for Star Citizen, or the ESRB? The PEGI reading? Yeah. It's the Euro. Yeah, Euro ESRB. No, I, yeah. I mean, do we have, I think we have an internal barometer, but I don't know if it's like, Something we've yeah. really thought about. If I had point. to guess, and this is like straight yeah. up guessing, uh, I would say ESRB is probably a team, yeah. depending on the content of Squadron Forty Two. I think that's what the big contention is. And then it might go M, um, but probably not. I, I bet we'll probably say within team. Uh, it depends. They're kind of fickle. One thing I've heard Chris say is that we're not going for any particular rating. He wants to in Squadron Forty Two. He wants to tell the story he wants in yeah. Star Season. He wants to have the stuff he wants. Um, yeah, we're, we're not doing that GTA uh, guns and boobs wherever we can sort yeah. of thing. We, it has to be relevant to the universe. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I mean, Chris's, Chris's Wing Commander games were mostly teen, but there were a couple M's, so in there somewhere. <laughs> that's, our, that's the best quote I've ever heard. Star Citizen, not just guns and boobs. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a third okay. thing. <laughs> We may not. I mean, we may not get a rating for until we do a final box product. Yeah, exactly. Because we don't actually need it until we go to the stores. Uh, I got an update on the fly free week on the PQ. Uh, it is not going to be in the PQ. Boo, William! This is your fault. Boo. <laughs> yes, it was me. I was sitting here and thought about it. I was like, Nah, not going to work. More of a temperature, but no one yeah. like here blowing on. Increasing gliding so speed and weapon just, sizes. Stay tuned to the PTU, my friend. Yes, let's, let's just say something about shift speeds, because I'm tired of that one guy who sends me the same image of the shift speed uh, chart every day on Twitter. Oh, is he like, is he just like mapping them out on a graph or something? Yeah, there's like a graph that shows the ships and how they don't make sense. What's he, what's he upset, which one is he upset about, or what? I don't know, I don't understand acceleration at all, so <laughs> I, will, I will send you his, uh, his thing. But I, I see that you seem to pick up people like that. There's always, everybody has their one thing, mm -hmm. and there's like one particular mindset where, oh, I'll just send this to him every single day until they. But apparently, you know, it's yeah, stuck. apparently, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. I actually do read those messages, so that that is an effective way to get feedback. You just, you just, man. No, just, don't, don't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh man, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, I would hate to have more people adding me on Twitter. That would. <laughs> Damn followers! <laughs> can't get rid of you. Uh, but do we actually, do we, did we answer the question? <laughs> I think we talked about it for a bit. Stay tuned, he said. Okay. Yeah. 
All ships will go five miles an hour once the TU launches. Yeah. <laughs> That'll show them. Didn't New we tell you guys that before? Yeah, didn't you know that was in yeah, our original yeah. uh, Kickstarter? <laughs> <laughs> All ships will be slow as hell. Because that's fun. <laughs> Community hit spam bin. Yeah, you're screwed. Um, again, for those of you who just joined us, 1.1 will not launch on the live servers today, but it will. there will be a PTU build of it, but not with um, all of the features that will be in 1.1. So but have all the features, they just don't all work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why 1.1 is not going live. Yeah. yeah. For, for those of you that enjoy automated landing, maybe consider manual. <laughs> um, does the Herald still have an asymmetrical design? No. Bummers. <laughs> yeah. Travis, will there be a militarized version of the Moby Glass or a bionic arm? Well, I want a bionic. I've got a bionic arm. Yeah, I kind of want one of those too. Uh, the answer is so the Moby. Yeah, probably in Squadron there will be some kind of a military variant of the Moby Glass, and I mean it makes sense. If in Squadron it'll be available in the PU. Uh, bionic arms is something we've talked about, like the Luke Skywalker hand. So this is a. I was gonna say this is I'm not spoiler. Does it, anyone play Bionic Commando, the new like the newer one from Grim? Yeah, rearmed. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That was no. the that rearmed was the downloadable one. Yeah. This one was just like the one the Grim did. Don't don't yeah, say okay. it. it. For those of you who haven't, go look up what the twist is in that game. It's quite possibly the greatest twist in the history of it video is games. It's not the greatest twist. It's the worst twist. <laughs> it makes no sense. I don't know what's going on. I don't he has a bionic arm. Spoiler alert for Bionic Commando. Oh, that was the twist? No, his, no the no, twist no. is what his, his bionic arm is his dead wife. What? Yeah. yeah. His bionic arm is made yeah. out of his dead wife. Yeah. And he finds that out like halfway through the game, and he's like, he goes through this transformation of like, wow, I don't know what the, this means. And it's like, you don't care because you're like, what? Yeah, neither do I. Because <laughs> yeah, you don't care because you're just so confused. It's so weird. That's so weird that I like it. I think, that's a cool twi- I think that's a cool twist. His when wife- you die, I will use your arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, spoiler alert for Biotic Commander. Yeah, a little, a little bit late, but yeah. Man, I just I just want to talk about that because I remember playing that game being like, what the f- <laughs> The story just took a hard right. But... Yeah. Um, how is, I mean, not really our thing, but how how is Squadron 42 progressing? For fun. I played the whole thing. It's amazing. 100% of it. I already told him how you ruined the Got ending for me. All his demon achievements. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> I know, it's, it's coming along really good. Uh, they're going to go engage in the performance capture sessions and some of the mocap sessions here in the next month or so. And, uh, and yeah, I, it's, it's coming along exactly as it should. And Chris will be out of the office for a long time. Yes, so will Shimon, I found out. He's leaving yep. pretty soon. Shimon and Chris. What will we do? Without Shimon and Chris. Without well, those uh, two, that crazy pair. <laughs> I still remember when Shimmel walked by one time and somebody was like, "Oh shit, the story's gonna be great. They got Mark Twain working there." <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my favorite Twitch chat moment. <laughs> Expect Squadron Forty Two to be to to be a harsh indictment of the uh, Gilded Age. Like, just you want to recap what today's, uh, this month's flare item is? Uh, yeah, this month's flare is a thank you subscriber plaque. It also is like an in fiction item. So those should be attributed later today. Because I think in CS chat they said that was what was happening. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, can you share any information on the battle cruiser? It's big. It's big. Nailed it. Yeah. It, got, uh, do they know the name of it? I don't think they do. Okay. Great, they love that. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, that's really more uh, Foundry's thing to talk about, not mine. Well, we'll, we'll give away. It's called the Princess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's called the Firefly. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, at the at the end of, of the story, after you navigate through the maze, um, <laughs> then yeah, you finally meet your Prince Charming. Yeah, uh, and he's and he's actually your arm too. Yeah, and basically. Yeah. The, the, well, at the end of all the earlier mazes, they tell you he's in the last and in a different one. Yeah, yeah. keep going through space you mazes. The, wrong maze. the twist is when he proposes to you and you get the ring on your finger. That's what actually gives you your citizenship in the PU. Yeah, but then that's like level seven. But then you go back. There's like a coda, and it's level one. But you see like how it all happens. Plus, yeah. Exactly, like braid. You know, like you play the last level first. Mm-hmm. The like invisible first walls in the second playthrough. Yeah, something. let's. What other what other like game game design keywords can we throw? in there. Failure Cloud states. processing. Failure states. Um, 
Hard poop. Tress yeah. effects. Lido narrative. Yeah, Lido narrative hard. dissonance. There's a lot of that. All right. Visceral. It's gonna be visceral. visceral. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very. You draw Alexis as your bionic arm. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't the 300i of the Aurora have a toilet? Because uh, no one poops in space. Uh, you just got <laughs> Fact. Well, you, we're giving away our, our, our plan for making money here, but we're going to be selling virtual disposable space diapers for <laughs> $5 pop. $5 per poop. It's a simulation. And we'll also have real ones. <laughs> <laughs> but, those, Branded, yeah. but those are 50 bucks. Branded Star Citizen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But just to clarify, the inside, people do not pick this up. We are kidding. <laughs> but on the but the, on the inside of the diaper because we didn't think it through. <laughs> Who will get access to Alpha PU first? Uh, me, me. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. No, Anybody just me. Alpha? Yeah. Alpha access. I don't have clues about being a concept. What? I what? I don't have clues, clues about, about being, being a concept. Fan new concept. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when you guys write in to see us and ask us questions oh, like yes. that, it, you know. It's not really their forte. No. We're here to help you with your account. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not here to answer my very specific question about one aspect of game design? Yeah, exactly. I think they're saying they want more of those questions. <laughs> That they especially love it when the questions come in like a list of 50 <laughs> and no, even more. We, we just hear their shouts of joy when there are sub questions like 17A. <laughs> if the game design method mentioned in question 17 is not applicable, can I then change my character into a lizard? <laughs> so, uh, I, I've heard from Chelsea that the most effective method of getting your ticket answered faster is to submit like 20 to 25 duplicate tickets <laughs> yeah. that ask the same question also, with increasing levels of animosity. Yeah, or just do one giant block of text, yeah. right? Yeah. All cap block of text. Don't use spaces at all. What yeah. about when people write Mind in on stupid. a Friday and then yell at us on a Monday because we haven't replied to their ticket yet over the weekend? Yeah. By the way, now that we're on it, can we just let's round of applause they got through Ticket Mountain? Hey. Yeah. 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 It took th almost three months of work, but they did it. And Toast ate his shoe. <laughs> and betrayed the Federation. Yep. Toast ah, Federation. Order. You betrayed the Federation first. We all saw that. Hey, here's one. Whose idea was it to name the rec store EA? Not mine. <laughs> Who's legally liable for that one? Right? Uh, Chris Roberts. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Shit thrown on somebody else. John Schimmel, he's going away. <laughs> he's going to go to the UK for three months. John Schimmel, he did it. No, that, that was actually a long internal debate as to what we should call it. Um, and Chris loves Chris loves nods like that. And the right, some of the writers think they're kind of silly. And It was a back so, and forth. It was a back and forth. Ultimately, Ben won. Will there be an AC manual? Ultimately, all. Yeah, exactly. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. Will there be an AC manual update? Yes. Uh, not to, well, when AC11 comes out. Will there be a Star Marine manual? Yes. yes. Will there be a Star Marine tutorial video? Portal video? I'm just asking this question. Tutorial, yeah. oh, tutorial video. Tutorial video, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just, you, James. yeah, now I'm just answering these questions because I want to do it. Hopefully, starving <laughs> should be a lot easier to figure out than any command. I'm hoping if I ask, I ask something I want to do and you guys are like, sure, I'm like, see, everybody, everybody's in agreement. Yeah, we probably need a video, though, for decoupled mode in, in FPS. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I just. torso separate. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and stat, comp stab, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they all mean different things in Star Wars. <laughs> no, they mean the exact reverse. Right? <laughs> uh, someone was asking about dog tags. Those are still in production right now. Uh, it's probably going to be another month or two before they're ready. I did get word today that the t-shirts are ready, though, so they should be beginning to ship within the next week or two. Did you see my sick wall? So <laughs> Uh, will we be able to park our ship? Wait, never mind. Do clothing systems allow us to wear top hats or space helmets? Or? I think he means either or. So he only gets one. Can he wear a top hat or can he wear a space helmet? Uh, yeah. I think I've seen Cosmo of both, time? actually. Yeah. No, that's I'm nonsense. I want to wear a top hat on my space helmet. Toast is eating batteries? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> It's a hard life, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat batteries and shit. Uh, <laughs> you eating batteries today? 
Wolf, we know that some people got those shirts, but it was people with mixed orders. Yeah. So not, yeah. not all of those shirts were ready at the same time. Does 1.1 update fix a problem with the gamepad, such as for Xbox One controller users? Uh, sorry, say again? Does the 1.1 update improve the control of a uh, joystick? Yes. yes. It has the new ESP tweaks that kind of... Uh, there's a lot of flight model changes to a third order of motion controls from the second order, so it's a more of a predictive system rather than reactive, and with that is a whole slew of ESP changes. Um, you can <laughs> look it up. It's a... To hell of a thing, but uh, bottom line is, uh, Hotas got nerfed mouse and keyboard for life. Sir, <laughs> 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 just kidding. I'm with you though. But yes, the ESP has been has been improved. Can you use an Xbox One controller with a PC right now? Yes, but it's not as easy as you think it should be. Like, you know how you could just plug in the Xbox 360 controller yeah. and it went. Yeah. I don't. I haven't checked in a while, but I had my Xbox One controller plugged in and I had to like remap stuff. Mm. Which, oddly enough, I think the PS4 controller works pretty well. The ESP toggle will be global. It doesn't matter whether you're in coupled or decoupled. It enables and disables the system globally. Jenny wants to talk about Mallrats 2. Okay. Wait, are they making a Mallrats 2? There was... Kevin Smith, allu Kevin Smith alluded to it. Kevin Smith like went to the Eden Prairie Mall, uh, personally. Or, uh, pr recently. Hmm. Which is where the original one was filmed. Oh. Can Travis do a Meet the Devs? Absolutely. Someday. We will we'll film that right after this. Someday. Right, Trav? Nope. You gotta get it before he flies out to Denver. Yeah, you're the Denver. I'm gonna see Trav. Oh, we'll do it in Denver. That'll be fun. That'd be weird. <laughs> Throw a snowball. like that. So, the Mallrats talk died. I'm excited for it. That'd be cool. We've been talking about Mallrats too for because you back when Mallrats came out, you wanted to make like Die Hard in a mall. No. Oh God, I want that. I've never seen Die Hard though, so. Mallrats, very underrated film. It's probably a very influential film in my life. I'm with you. I actually that was the first I had saw that before I saw Clerks. Me too, dude. Yeah, me too. Got yeah. me into Kevin Smith's film. I like Clerks too. You had to say you had to talk to me about Clerks too. I was you like Clerks, Clerks too. too suck. I like yeah. Clerks too. Clerks 3 is what he's getting ready to put. He announced this slate the other day. He's got Clerks 3 and then he's doing the hockey movie. Hit, hit somebody. Hit somebody. Hit somebody but that's a miniseries now. It's no longer a movie. Okay. And he just finished Yoga Hosers. And then right. he is... Doing Moose Jaws. He's doing Moose Jaws. Yes, it's but, it's, but, it's a shot-for-shot shot remake of Jaws but with a moose. Yeah. I want to see that more than anything. Also, I've never seen Jaws. I, I would like them already. So I'd like to see what, what you know those guys are doing right now with T.S. I'm with you. I would have thought that, but then they did Clerks 2. It was just terrible. You, you can't it's not terrible. Movie. It was no, fine. Right. It was fine. Like, you're, right, you're right, Ben. Clerks 2 was like, just not as, you know. So. Like if, if you've done Clerks 2 where they were like, oh, okay, they're, they're still Clerks since it's really depressing and, you know, they, they have to figure out what's wrong with their lives. That That's a movie, but yeah. hey, what if they were fast food employees now? That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, you're right. You guys like, just hating. 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 <laughs> haters are going to hate. That's, it's like the yeah. ideas that come with you see 22 Jump Street. Yeah. No. It, like at the end of that where they had all the movie posters for like them going to culinary school, them going oh, to law yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we get Chris Roberts to do Meet the Devs? Uh, mm. He did one. Yeah, and he put up on YouTube. I'm going to say you probably know who he is. Yeah, also just Google it on our YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, just Google Chris Roberts. Or just Google Chris <laughs> Roberts. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. And he does Temper Jam every week. We'll be putting more energy weapons into the store. Although, you know, I kind of do want James's standard set of questions with Chris Roberts. What's his favorite movie and... That would be cool. Bad and ice cream and whatever. Yeah. Next time we do 10 FTC, let's try and... Let's try and get him to do it. Sneak a couple of those questions in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah those are the 10 questions. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's your favorite how movie? Did you, how did you first hear about Star Trek? <laughs> no, you like the Tiger Beat interview with Chris Roberts. <laughs> You'd be like dreamily looking off into the distance. What's your favorite? What's your favorite One Direction? Yeah. <laughs> I would just love the. Isn't that what? That's, a, that's a thing, stuff. right? Yeah. Who's yeah. your favorite One Direction person? Oh, Mikey. person. Mikey is mine. Is that really? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I know is a Mikey. one is named Harry. I know that. Harry? Harry? Yeah. I don't like yeah. that guy. Yeah. yeah that's not a. That's not a I name for a One Direction. A name. Yeah, like Clyde. That's a sexy Clyde. name. Clyde. Clive. Clive. Exactly. Clive or Clyde Jack? I said, I what pick one. Circus? Whatever one you think is sexier. Clive Clive with a V is sexy. Oh, Clive Circus is Jack. also a sexy name. Friday, they like saving some guy. Alright, one more. This is the Connie rework coming. I'm tired of the grimy interior of my Andromeda. So are we. It is moved on from white boxing into gray boxing. Same with a freelancer. 
Let's get one more Star Citizen related question. There are no issues running Star Citizen on Windows 10. After that one. Okay. <laughs> Before we get there, how did everybody like Chappie? Haven't seen it yet. You guys want to see it tonight? We already saw it. Yeah, you guys want to go see it again? I heard it was horrible. I thought it was alright. I, I liked enjoyed it. it. I liked, I liked Chappie it. a lot. really liked it. Yeah. Lando has no soul and like despises it more than anything he's ever seen before. Yeah, this is his least favorite movie ever. So. Dude, Brandon hated it. Really? Yeah. It seems to inspire some very intense reactions. I guess that's right. how you know it's art. <laughs> uh, I will say though, I, I despise the District 9 and Elysium. I like District 9. What? Elysium was terrible. I adore District I just, 9. We just watched that for the first time the other night. I love was, District I really 9. Liked it a lot, that guy yeah. should be like a. His weapons designs are awesome, but I just. I don't know. District, okay, District 9, the whole part that bugged me is at the end, he'd been trying to get that stupid fluid the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. And he'd gotten like drip by drip by drip, and then he wears the mech suit, and then it gets destroyed, and it's just belching that fluid out of it. Like, there's <laughs> gallons of it. Like, that was there. It took him 10 years to do that. Then he brings it over the shuttle, puts it in the shuttle, powers up the shuttle, goes to fly, gets shot down. <laughs> After he gets shot down, he's like, oh, no big deal. I'll just call the mothership over to pick us up, which I could have done the whole time 10 years ago. That's dumb. <laughs> We need the fluid to power it up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, movie reviews. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. It's just like four minutes of him. This movie's garbage, and here's why. Mm -hmm. Travis, that was like your most controversial statement. So. No, yeah. Travis is dead, dead to me. me. Since he doesn't like <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said the first day I met him. Well, Chris loves to give me crap for the fact that I like the movie Battleship, but. Dude, that movie's awesome! Oh, that is a fun movie. That movie's so I'll fun. Give, I'll give you that. Shit blows up all good. That. That. Stars Rihanna. Hey, Stars Riri. Great. And Turtle. Hey girl, Riri's in it. All right. Well, I guess that wasn't a Star Citizen yeah. question. But <laughs> actually, there's a question here. Actually, Carlos I think doesn't like I, th Graham. I think a lot. I think a lot about uh, the agent smithing that we can do into NPCs. Do we have uh, rules that govern that yet? For like us, the peoples of the company doing that? Yeah. Uh, no, we don't have any rules yet. What about for the community when it's available? Can they do it? Yeah, like look, the, the Agent oh, Smith thing, like, so when they, they have NPCs they ha have control over, and their friend oh, wants oh, to... Oh, not like them Agent randomly Smith. taking control of an AI somewhere in the universe. No. But, uh, oh, I see, okay. And it's like in Squadron 42. I just like Agent Smithing as a verb, like, I'm really into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sick. No verb. Yeah, yeah, reference. yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a PU thing, Tony's working on it, it'll be a, it'll be a balance thing, you know, uh, there's probably situations where you don't want to, you know, send your AI out somewhere and then automatically let someone jump in, but we're, we'll figure that out as we balance. I, I think this guy might be wrong. I don't know. So the battleship is fun because Iowa class will pass, but I think it's the Missouri class, isn't it? Oh, you got battleship yeah, burn. The Iowa and the Missouri were sister ships, but I think they were the Missouri class. All right. Iowa class. Will, you want to take us out? All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, be sure to tune in to our South by Southwest presentation uh, here in... <laughs> five and a half hours. Uh, it's going to be 4.30 PST. Streaming out of the Star Citizen Twitch. Uh, Chris will be giving a presentation. I believe he's going to be talking about the social module. I know, to, to clarify this a little bit, the presentation today is not our presentation. Okay. It is uh, Chris is appearing on what they call the Geek Stage. Yeah. Geek Stage! At South by Southwest Internet, because every, everything in South who has is terrible trash but you're going to be on the geek stage wow. is terrible. About star citizen uh, and it'll be kind of more a general presentation i think terrible sunday trash. sunday is our uh, our actual star citizen yes. event where we'll be showing off some cool social stuff yeah um so yeah thank you very much everybody and we will catch you next week bye, bye.